gentlemen, I bring you Aerosmith. Party. I'm your excellent host, Wayne Campbell. With me, as always, is Garth. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. Okay, before we bring out our first guest, we'd like to introduce our newest feature. It's called Movie World with Wayne and Garth. Movie World! Let's take a look at the movies, all right? The first movie is Back to the Future 2, starring Michael J. Fox. I liked it, Garth. Yeah, I, I liked it too. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Steel Magnolias, starring Daryl Hannah and Dolly Parton. I thought it sucked. It was a chick movie, Garth. Yeah, it sucked. Okay, Val Mall with that excellent babe. Excellent, excellent babe, Meg Tilly. <laughs> I didn't see it. Garth? Didn't see it. Okay. The bear. The bear sucked. Sucked. Sucked donkeys. Okay. All dogs go to heaven. Sure. Right. Garth? As if. Okay. Prancer. Garth? It sucked big time. I kind of liked it. Not. Okay. <laughs> Crimes and misdemeanors. I thought it wasn't so much a movie as it was an essay of man in society. Although the topic of free will versus determinism is fascinating, I would hardly call it entertainment. Garth? Sucked. <laughs> and finally, Batman. Excellent! He shoots, he scores. Garth? Mega excellent. Excellent. Okay, let's recap, all right? Okay, Back to the Future 2, we both liked. Steel Magnolias, we both thought sucked. It was a chick movie. Val Mall, both didn't see. Uh, the Bear, uh, while Garth thought it sucked, I thought it sucked donkeys, right? <laughs> All dogs go to heaven, yeah, right? Garth thought as if. All right, Prancer, I kinda liked, not. Garth thought it sucked big time. Crimes and misdemeanors, I found alienating and pristine. Garth, on the other hand, thought it sucked. And finally, Batman. Excellent. He shoots, he scores. Garth, Garth thought mega excellent. Okay, there we have it. Extreme close up. Whoa! 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 Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Let's bring out our first guest. His name is Chief Mark Wilson. He's the uh, police chief of Aurora. Please welcome Chief Wilson. Welcome to Wayne's World, Chief Wilson. Thanks, Campbell. Uh, of course, uh, you know Garth, right? Yeah, I know Garth. Excellent, excellent. Um, police Chief Wilson. Yes? A homo says what? What? A homo says what? What? A homo says what? What? Exactly. Let's get on with this. Okay, Garth and I got caught by Chief Wilson here whipping snowballs at cars, right? So to make it up to him, we've decided to help out the police force and present right here on Wayne's World, Aurora's Most Wanted. Aurora's Most Wanted with Police Chief Mark Wilson. Thanks, Campbell. We have some unsolved crimes in the Aurora area, and with your help, we can bring these fugitives to justice. Campbell and Garth here will help with the reenactment. Okay, uh, Police Chief Wilson, you gotta sit here, all right? Yeah. You gotta sit here. Reenactment. Okay, right? reenactment. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. okay. First case involves a Caucasian male in his 20s with a beard, one in the connection with an attempted robbery. On November 17th, a man with a shotgun entered Jack's Cycle and Sports. He then asked the owner to empty out the cash register. 
Empty out the cash register, I'll blow your head off! Okay, okay, just that shit! At that point, the suspect saw the security camera, got scared and left. Um, Police Chief Wilson, isn't that kind of boring? You know, couldn't that be more interesting? What do you mean? Well, it was some sort of embellishment. Embellishment! Embellishment! Party time! Excellent! Okay. Uh, uh, seeing the security camera, the guy went mental and pumped two shots into the owner. Kaboom! Kaboom! Okay, then the owner wheeled, right, and shot the robber in the eye. Kaboom! My eye! My eye! Blood, blood, blood! I got, I got! And then uh, the assailant ran down the stairs, okay? Okay, and then he took the escalator. Okay? And then he went in a canoe. Yeah, yeah, and th th then he, he took an elevator. Okay, love in an uh, elevator. All right, knock it off, you punks. Now, let's get back to the facts. If you have any information about this case, contact the Aurora Police Department at 555-2222. All right, that's it for Aurora's Most Wanted. Police Chief Wilson, you know, I, I hope I've been of some help to you. I, I hope that makes us even Stevens. You know, I really hope you had a homo say what good time. What? A homo says what? What? Exactly. <laughs> all right, that's all the time we have for this week. Until then, good night, party on! Good night, party on! Party on! Watching Cable 10, Aurora, Illinois, Community Access Channel. Here's your host, Wayne Campbell. Party! Party! Yeah. It's Friday, it's 10.30, it's time to party. I'm your excellent host, Wayne Campbell. With me, as always, is Garth. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. Okay, before we bring out our first guest, uh, Garth, what'd you get for Christmas? I got a Game Boy. Excellent. What else? A Batman poster of Kim Basslinger. What a big! Yeah. No, Guff. Oh, yeah, and uh, you bought me the Nintendo Power Glove. Thanks, Wayne. Hey, hey, it's my pleasure. You're a bud. Schwing! Schwing! <laughs> so what'd you get, Wayne? Oh, uh, I got uh, 50 bucks and a pair of jeans. Excellent. Yeah, except the jeans they got me were flares. Flares? No way. Way? God. They're heinous. Indeed. Okay. Let's move on to our, our new feature, okay? It's called Viewer Mail. Viewer Mail! Viewer Mail! Party time! Let's <laughs> Okay. All right, we get letters, right? And from time to time, we respond. All right, uh, and this letter is from uh, Kurt J.M. Austin from here in Aurora. And he writes, Dear Wayne, what does Garth think about when Wayne is talking? Gee, I really don't know. I wish I was Wayne. I wish I was Wayne. I wish I wasn't such a tool. Oh, very funny, Wayne. You gimp. Good comeback, sphincter boy. <laughs> Extreme close up. Wah! 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 Okay, all right. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Good close up. Excellent. Okay, let's bring out our first guest. You all know him. He's the driver's ed teacher at Aurora High. Please welcome. You know him. Please welcome Mr. Hample. Welcome to Wayne's World, Mr. Hample. Thanks, Wayne. Uh, you know Garth, of course. Hi, Mr. Hample. Hello, Garth. Um, how's the parallel parking coming? Good, good. <laughs> right to go right. Left to go left. Excellent. You know, uh, Mr. Hample, having you on the show is kind of like, you know, having a king on the show. So, welcome, your heinous. Pardon me? I, I said, welcome, your heinous. <laughs> okay, all right. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. Hample, in your opinion, what's the most important thing a young guy should know when he's just starting out driving? What should he know? Well... He should know that driving is a privilege and not a right. 
A car is really just a means of getting from A to B, not a sort of phallic symbol. It's power under control. And in the wrong hands, a car is a lethal weapon capable of horrendous damage. In many ways, a car is a pulverizing death monster with a glass and steel persona. A vicious, unforgiving beast whose lust for blood is matched only by its love of carnage. A killing machine worthy of its nickname, the Widowmaker. Bonus. <laughs> Anything else? Just this. Don't believe in turning signals. Just assume that all the other drivers on the road are liars. Okay, thanks. Cheats. So, two-faced bastards. <laughs> Caught up in a web of lies so tangled that they'd rather hand over their mothers to the Gestapo than tell the truth. A sea of liars. So untrustworthy, they should be slaughtered like so much human cattle. Bonus. <laughs> Well, it's nice to know you're operating the second brake. Okay, uh, let's get a load. All right, okay, two days ago, Garth and I got caught bringing a can of pop into the driver's ed classroom, even though there's a big humongoid sign saying you're not supposed to, right? So to make it up to Mr. Hampel, and to ensure that he doesn't kill us in our sleep, we're going to do a public service announcement about drinking and driving. Okay, Mr. Hempel, you got to stay here. Okay. Yay. All right. Excellent. Uh, public service announcement, public service announcement, tiny time, excellent. Excellent. Okay. Don't Drink and Drive by Wayne and Garth. Okay. Oh, wow. Great party. I'm gonna go home now. No, hey man, you drunk. I'm calling a cab. I'm not drunk. I can drive. I don't need a cab. Cabs are for sissies. Shut up, you drunk. Shut up, you shut up. You shut up. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Ka-chunk. <laughs> Heck, heck. Hey, let's see what this baby's made of. Oh no! I'm going out of control! I'm gonna hit that railway abutment! Because of, of drinking, drinking and driving. Loving an elevator. <laughs> Mr. Hempel, what'd you think? I think it's a shame. A shame? Yes, it's a shame that the drunk driver didn't suffer a little before he died. Thank you, Your Highness. Okay. That's all the time we have for this week. Until then, party on, Garth. Party on, Wayne. Where's Wayne? You are watching Cable 10, Aurora, Illinois, Community Access Channel. Excellent host, Wayne Campbell. <laughs> With me, as always, is Garth. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. <laughs> woo, woo. Okay. Excellent. Hey, Mom. Mom, I'm doing a show, okay? Sorry, Wayne. Just doing a load of whites. I'm with the show. Hi, Garth. Wayne, I honestly don't understand how you managed to get everything you eat on the front of your T-shirts. Uh, Mom, this is fascinating for everyone, all right? Myself, I'm enthralled. Can you go, please? All right, I get it, I get it. I'm good enough to do your laundry, but not good enough to be on Wayne's World! Wayne's World! 
<laughs> Good call, Mom. I think you have a firm grasp of our relationship. Excellent. All right. All right. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. 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 Before I begin, let me tell you that we have a very special Wayne's World this week, okay? Garth's cousin Barry is a roadie for Aerosmith, right? And guess what? They're gonna be on the show. Oh, I can't believe they're actually here. Oh, oh. Come on, Garth, don't go squirrely on me. All right. All right, I'm counting on you, man. Okay, Okay, man. the only thing is, though, right, is that I had to promise to have Barry on as a guest, all right? So here he is, Garth's cousin, who's a roadie for Aerosmith, Barry. Wait, man, wait. Welcome to Wayne's World, Barry. Hi, Wayne. Hi. Hi. Uh, you know Garth, of course, right? Hi, Garth. Hey, Barry. Hi. Hey, look, good work on getting Aerosmith on the show, man. Well, I told him that Wayne's World was good for, for promoting their upcoming gig at the Aurora Civic Center, and uh, they went for it. Okay. All right, now, uh, Aerosmith's definitely here, right? Yeah, yeah. They're upstairs uh, uh, in the kitchen, sitting right at the table there. <laughs> at the... <laughs> You mean they're up there at the breakfast nook? Errol Smith is in my breakfast nook? Excellent, all right! Excellent! Okay. All right, let's go to the nook cam, all right? Oh. Nook cam, nook cam, party time, party time! All right! The nook cam, all right, there they are. Aerosmith, this is amazing! There's Joey Kramer, Steven Tyler, Joe Perry, Tom Hamilton, and Brad Whitford. Aerosmith is sitting where I eat my nut and honey every day. Oh, oh, oh man, they're actually here. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. <laughs> Garth. Garth, take your Ridlin, man. Take All your right. Ridlin. Jesus. All right, Barry, you're a roadie, right? It must be Chick Central for you. Yeah, you must be a citizen of Babylon. Well, yeah, uh, we get our share of the babes, but, you know, you don't have a lot of time, and there's a lot of other people to consider. I mean, there's, the, there's a, the band, there's the sound guys, there's the lighting crew, there's management, there's, there's tour coordinators, record company people, security, and then, of course, us, the, the roadies. Okay, so what you're saying is that roadies are the bottom feeders in the great babe food chain. <laughs> right? Uh, that, that is not what I'm saying, Wayne. <laughs> hey, man, come on. There's a ton of chicks who would rather go out with roadies than with a band. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and later on, monkeys might fly out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, okay, let's see what's happening upstairs on the nook cam. Oh, no! Oh, no, my mom's there. She's talking to Aerosmith. Oh, no, I'm dying of death. Oh, she's gonna say something stupid. Oh, no, this is brutal! No, no, they're leaving. Oh, no, she's making them take the house tour. The walk of shame. <laughs> Garth, go! My mom must be stopped. Use violence if necessary. Excellent. OK, Barry, you're going to do us uh, a little bit of a demonstration of what you do on stage, yeah. right? Yeah, OK. What I do is I make sure everyone's got the heavy on, right. and I tune their guitars, and I bring them out on stage, and I set up the mics, and I make sure the scarves are always in the right place. And then the most important thing, I got to do the sound check. Check, 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 one, check, check, sibilance, sibilance. Check, 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 two, sibilance, sibilance. And that's pretty much what I do. Oh, that's good. Hey, did you get her to stop? Yeah, I stopped her. Okay, great. Anyways, Barry, uh, that was really interesting. Not. Okay. Look, buddy, I honored my part of the contract, all right? So bring Aerosmith on. Yeah. All right, excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you Aerosmith. Please, man! Mighty ones. <laughs> hi, Wayne. Hi, Garth. Thanks for having us on the show. Oh, Wayne, I'm so excited. I, I think I'm gonna hurl. Hey! <laughs> Garth, get it together, man. Don't hurl, because if you hurl and I catch a whiff of it, man, I'm gonna spew. All right? <laughs> and if I blow chunks, chances are someone else is gonna honk, all right? Okay. And that's gonna set off a peristaltic chain reaction. All right? Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Make yourselves comfortable. Welcome to Party Central, but I just gotta say it. I think you guys are the greatest band in the world. Without a doubt, without a doubt. 
Guy. Aerosmith are here. Ah! Ah! Okay, we had a lot of people, right? We told them that you guys were going to be on the show, right? And they had a lot of questions, right? So, so here, here are the top three questions they had for Aerosmith, okay? Question number one. Is it true you guys don't do drugs or alcohol anymore? Yeah, that's right. No drugs, no alcohol. Feels great. No way. Way. <laughs> no way. Way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Garth, go ahead. Next question. Okay, next question is for Steven. Um, okay. Are those really your lips or are they lip implants like Barbara Hershey had in the movie Beaches? <laughs> they mine, man. Bitch here, bitch and lips. Oh, lip meister. Okay. With the recent developments in Eastern Europe, do you think that communism is on the decline, or is this just a temporary setback? Well, man, that's a hard question. But I would have to respond with a qualified yes. Although it seems that socialism is in repose until you remove the Stalinist-era party apparatchiks, there will be no real change in the Soviet Union. No, I disagree, man. There's never been a blueprint for the dictatorship of the proletariat, so there's bound to be mistakes. <laughs> However, if you study history, you'll see that since the rise of the nation state, that socialism, socialism has been uh, an historical inevitability, dude. Excellent! Fascinating. Okay, we're just about out of time, right? But it's always been my fantasy to play with you guys. And I was wondering if you wouldn't mind singing the Wayne's World theme with me. Right. Yeah? Right. Let's do it. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, let's do it, all right. Check, 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 check one, one sibilance, 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 sibilance,